Yo, what is up? It's Ice Grenade, and today I'm going to show you exactly what I do when I come across a big problem when I'm map making. So this is a earlier edition of the Hell and Heavens map. It's quite a few places behind, but I ran into a random problem where the zombies stop chasing people. You go up to them, they might give you a slap, but they don't want to run after you. The zones are set up right, the spawners are set up right, the GSC is set up right. It makes no sense and I couldn't figure it out. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did to fix it. And this will also fix a whole range of other problems you might have in regards to spawning or games, the game that won't load up. Yeah, a whole bunch of problems. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I recommend you do before you touch anything is back up the files. So if you go to your map source, and you're going to want to go to ZM and then go to the file that you're working with. In this case, it's the caverns map. And we'll just do control C, go to somewhere on your computer. I've made a folder called backups on my B drive. You can make a folder wherever you like. And I'm just going to go to backup three and paste it here. Then I know I have a backup of the map file itself. The next thing I would back up is literally go to user maps and back up the entire folder as well. So I'm going to go B backups back up three paste it there and I've put quite a lot into this so it's gonna go there you could leave the XPack files out or delete them because they are just compiled versions of the map so you could do that to save space so if I go in there go to zone and then we just delete the different X packs. You can do filter by type and then select all the X packs and do delete. That way you are saving a bit of space on your hard drive with your backups. Anyway, so we've backed it up. Let's continue. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up the map in Radiant. In this case, I'm going to, I think I'll do a smaller map. Okay, so we're going to work with the caverns map and we'll say that it's broken, for example. And what we're going to do is open it up in Radiant. And then what you're going to want to do is, while that's opening up, is make a new one. And we're going to copy everything into it. And there's a certain few things you need to do. You just go here, call it ZM underscore, and call it whatever you like. So I could probably call this Caverns 2, maybe. And we'll, we'll just open up this one. And we're going to want to open that up in Radiant as well as the original Caverns. Okay, so the new map's loaded up, and we're in here now. And we're going to need to do a few things first before we pull in the existing map. First thing we're going to want to do is select the start zone and delete it. And then we want to select the different structs for the player spawns and delete these as well. And then we just want to delete the objects around here, delete the spawners, delete the probe. And basically you're going to want to delete everything here apart from the guy box itself and this actor up here and if we go further out we've got the other volumes as well the sunbox and everything okay the next thing you want to do is go into your other map the one that's broken and you want to copy from you want to go up to the actor delete it and you want to go to the skybox and delete it so the, the six outer walls go out and delete those and we're going to delete the sun volume the umbra and we're going to delete the fps stall as well okay then you're going to want to press i on the keyboard to select everything and when you're doing this make sure you don't have any filters hidden because we need every single one of those showing then press ctrl c or do edit copy go into the new map you made and do edit paste and that's going to paste it in it might take a moment depending on how big your map is it'll take longer for bigger maps while that's loading, we're going to go do the next thing. The next thing you want to do is right click on your existing map, go to open map folder and put it on the left of your screen. Uh, then you want to go up a folder, so to user maps and open up the new location in a new window and put that on the other side of your screen. So we go back into the existing one caverns. So we've got the new one on the right and we've got the existing one on the left. So the first thing you want to do is go into scripts, ZM, and you want to copy across all of these files across like this and you can just paste them in there the next thing you want to do is delete the existing ones and rename the map name to the new name so in this case it's caverns 2 and then 
When you've done that, you can go up a folder, up a folder, and we're gonna to go to sound zone config. So we're gonna do that in the existing one as well, sound zone config. Well, you basically just wanna copy this, paste it here, delete the existing one, rename it as caverns2, open it up, and here at the top where it says caverns, you wanna change that to the new one, caverns2, and just save that there, so control S. Okay, the next thing is, go back up, and you'll see a zone source and you want to go to the same place and the existing one okay and then you want to do the same thing here you want to copy the existing one in you want to delete the new one rename the existing one to the new file open it up and where it says here on line 8 and 9 you want to change it to caverns 2 and then 14 and 15 you want to change that to caverns 2 and save the file and that's it for the scripting part if we go back into radiant here we go, we're in the new map, we've pulled everything in, just press escape now, and the next thing you want to do is stretch everything out to the new size of the map, if you've made the map bigger. What I recommend is if you take the skybox and you set the grid to 8, so I'm going to select the four sides that need making longer, and then we're going to drag them out, we've selected those four sides, and we can drag them out like that the next thing is we're going to want to move that end one across so if we just move it down there until it's touching there we go okay and then we want to select the four edges so we can move them all down so that it's deeper because the map goes down a little bit so we're going to change the volume and bring it down like that and almost done we want to select the floor of it there it is and i want to move that down so it's meeting it. There we go. And you can deselect everything. This black box is just something custom that I'm doing to block out the sun to give it a different effect. So ignore that. The next thing you want to do now that we've moved the skybox so it encases the whole map is to then select the sun volume and to drag it out so it's just within the wall of the skybox. Then you can hide the sun volume, select the umbra, and then unhide the sun box so you know where it is. Bring it all the way out until it's just within the sun volume. So you'll see it here, the sun volume is white. Then we can hide that. We can then hide the sun as well and then select the FPS tool and unhide everything else and drag it out until it's just within the umbra. So you should have white, pink, and then the green one we have selected. And then you can hide that there, hide that there, and hide that. And that's pretty much done except for a few little things. So the one problem with moving in here is now you're gonna have to fix all of your zones. So if we go over here, I got a lot of zones in this map, which is a shame, but this is the thing, you know, this will fix it. You're going to have to re-add the targets. So in your map, you might only have a couple zones and that's good for you, but I have a lot in this one. So yeah. Anyway, so you just re-add all of them like this. That's adding in the uh, target for the spawners. And then I've got this one here I need to add in, which is going to be target spawners two this is how i set it up and when you finally added all of those in so you're going to want to go to all of the triggers and just make sure that they have their targets you'll see this has lost its target and so you want to go to target and add it in, in this case it's the, the door two okay and we go to the next one here and you'll see that that door's lost it as well so basically, yeah, you just need to copy the scripts across. You need to pull in the new map, pull it in in this order so that it gets everything. The last thing you want to check is on your sun volume that it has the right sun selected because it may change it back to default day. So to just recap, you want to make a new map, copy everything across, check your zone targets and update them with 
the correct target names of the spawners. In that case, it was start zone spawners, and then I had spawners too. The last thing is to make sure you check your triggers to make sure that the triggers have their targets as well, because you'll find zones and triggers lose their target values when you copy them across. So other than that, just build up the lights and go ahead and compile, and you should have a working map now. I hope this has helped you out. It's certainly helped me out on a lot of occasions when I've run into problems with mapping and I just couldn't work it out so I'd end up resetting it with a new one and yeah this solves a lot of problems for me and hopefully you won't have to do this but it's good to know that you can do this when other things don't work. Anyway subscribe if you haven't already and throw a comment down there if you've got any questions. Throw a thumbs up that's awesome and yeah take it easy and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.